Hi everybody, Dr. Matt and Dr. Mike here answering your COVID vaccine questions. Now today we have a question which asks, can the mRNA from the COVID vaccines, so the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, can they incorporate into our DNA? So that's a good question and I think the best place to start is to utilise an analogy here. So the analogy is that of a chef. Now the chef wants to make a dish and so in order to do so, the chef goes into their library and they find their cookbook and they open the cookbook up and it has a whole bunch of recipes, but they only want one recipe. Okay, chicken tikka masala. All right, chicken tikka masala is the recipe. So they find that one recipe out of many and they have their notebook with them. They find the recipe and they copy it down into their notebook. They then put the cookbook back into the library, walk into the kitchen, and they can now make the dish from that recipe. The analogy here is this. The library is the nucleus of our cell. The DNA is the cookbook, contains all the instructions. The notebook that they copied that into is the mRNA and the kitchen is the cytoplasm where we turn that mRNA into proteins. The chef is something called a ribosome. Ribosomes turn mRNA instructions into proteins and proteins do everything in the body. So that's the analogy I like to use. Now the question is, what does any of this have to do with the Pfizer vaccines? Or the Moderna vaccines. Sure. So in front of me, I have a virus. I have the virus that causes COVID-19. This is SARS-CoV-2. What you can see on the outside of this virus are these spikes. These are the spike proteins. These are the proteins that our immune system picks up to notify our body that it's foreign and we need to build immunity against it. Now, I reach into this virus and what I can find here is all the genetic material. So this is all the genetic material for the whole entire virus. So this little section here would make a particular protein here. This section here would make another protein. But this part of the RNA, let me circle it. This part of the mRNA would code and create these spike proteins. So what scientists can do is extract just that RNA and we can use that in our vaccine and now we can inject it into the arm. So once that mRNA is in the cells of my arm, those cells can then take the mRNA instruction, which then says, make this. So they turn that mRNA into, basically, a whole bunch of these spike proteins. Now, by themselves, these spike proteins can't do anything, but the immune system recognizes these spike proteins as not belonging to us. So they mount an immune response to it. So then if you encounter the real virus, you have a degree of immunity against it. But that mRNA that I put in your arm, what happens to that? So the mRNA stays within the cytoplasm. It doesn't jump into the nucleus where the DNA is. The dogma of biology is it goes DNA, mRNA, proteins. It doesn't go backwards. So the mRNA doesn't go into the nucleus and incorporate into the DNA. In actual fact, much like Snapchat, once that mRNA is viewed, it's gone. 